Hello, grade six, and welcome to the third unit of this year, which is energy. For unit three, we are going to have two topics. The first topic, which is energy, it will consist of four lessons, energy, motion, force, and work, kinetic and potential energy, other forms of energy, energy changes, and conservation. As for topic two, it's going to be about thermal energy. It has three lessons, thermal energy, heat and temperature, heat transfer, heat and materials. The concepts that we are supposed to know, which is key concept, change, so how energy is changed. The related concept, obviously, is energy and transformation. So not only that energy changes, but it transforms from one form to the other. As for the global context, we are going to talk about scientific and technical innovation. The statement of inquiry, transformation of energy forms may change and increase the opportunity for responsible action. So what is the responsible action that I need to know about energy is that I need to save and conserve energy. Conserving energy is very, very important. So this is why the transformation of energy in forms may in change and increase the opportunity of responsible action. The assessment criteria for uh, this unit will be criterion A. So we, we will have a, a unit test, pen and paper. Criterion B and C, which is inquiring, designing, processing, and evaluating, will be assessed by your STEAM FAIR projects. So the STEAM FAIR, as I said before, is very important. So you are going to be assessed in it in A3. Let's start with the first topic, which is energy. Starting off with the first lesson, which is energy, motion, force, and work. So we will have to get introduced to the meaning of energy. What is energy? We cannot do work without energy. So motion, force, and work are all related to the energy. This is why we have to get introduced to the terms. We are going to understand the relationship between the terms. As I said, you cannot do motion force and work without having energy. We are also going to define the term power. What is power? And we are going to learn how to calculate work and power using simple equations and math problems. And we will practice a lot using our book questions and interactive websites and quizzes that are found online for us to make sure that we know how to calculate work and power. Moving on to the second lesson, which is kinetic and potential energy. We will get introduced to the terms of kinetic and potential energy, how to calculate energy, and understand the two different types of elastic and gravitational energy. So kinetic energy is energy that has to do with speed and movement, while potential energy has something to do with the height or the gravity of the potential energy. And as we said, there are two types of potential energy, elastic and gravitation. Elastic is stored in elastic bands, rubber bands. And as for gravitation energy, is that is stored in a height or in a place that is up the, against the gravity of Earth. And we are going to know how to calculate the energy, the kinetic energy, by using simple and straightforward equations. The third lesson, which is other forms of energy, we are going to learn about different forms of energy, such as mechanical energy, nuclear energy, thermal energy, chemical and electrical energy. So we are going to know how energy is stored in different forms and how it's transformed. So it can be mechanical or nuclear in nuclear power or thermal in hot objects, chemical such as in food and electrical such as in electricity. Moving on to the fourth lesson of the unit, which is energy change and conservation. So we are going to identify how energy changes from one form to the other. So I can start with kinetic energy and then end with potential, or I can change from nuclear energy 
to electrical energy. So we are going to learn how does the energy change from one form to the other. We will determine how energy transforms between those objects. So I can have, such as the picture found, the battery, and then I can take it from solar energy and then do, change it into electrical. So how does it transform between objects? And we will also learn how energy is conserved in a system. How do I conserve energy? What is, how, do I, how am I connecting this to the SOI? How can I have the responsible action of actually changing the form of energy without consuming it? How do I conserve this? How is energy conserved in a system? So this is the fourth lesson. Moving on to the second topic of this unit, which is thermal energy. The first lesson is thermal energy, heat, and temperature. So we are going to identify the terms heat, thermal energy, and temperature. So we already know that heat is how hot an object is, and the thermal energy is the kinetic and potential energy moving together, and the temperature is how hot and cold an object is. So we are going to know how heat is transformed through materials. And then we are going to talk about temperature types such as Celsius and Fahrenheit and how we can change between them. And we will learn how thermal energy and temperature are related. As we said before, changing states, depending, they depend on thermal energy and temperature, like the lesson we took in the first uh, semester, which discusses how thermal energy and temperature are related. If I want to change the state, I have to increase the thermal energy and the temperature so I can actually have a change of state. So thermal energy and temperature are related. Moving on to the second lesson, which is heat transfer. We are going to, to know how heat is transferred between objects. There are three types of, of how heat can be transferred, either convection, which is by heat, or conduction against, or radiation away. So we are going to identify these terms. We're going to determine how heat flows from the warmer to cooler objects. And we will learn that there is a law of conservation of energy. How is energy conserved? As for the third lesson of the second topic, which is heat and materials, we're going to identify how materials respond to heat. So when I apply heat to a material, what will happen? And how is kinetic energy determines the change? and affect heat transfer. So if I have kinetic energy, more movement, more speed, what will happen to the, to the heat? And we will learn how energy is transferred between materials and their surroundings. How materials we can have are conductors or insulators. Conductors, they conduct in, uh, electricity, while insulators, they do not conduct electricity. As for the unit activities, we're going to have the first lab, temperature and thermal energy, and the second lab, where heat flows. As for the ATL skills for this unit, critical thinking skills, communication skills, social collaboration skills. We will implement these skills through different types of activities in this unit. Good luck, grade six, and study hard for this unit. I am always here to help you and to answer all your questions, hoping this unit will bring you a lot of knowledge. Thank you again, eighth grade.